If what I'm about to tell you is true, this invention could change the world. So for starters, I've known about this guy for a long time and his invention. And I have a guilty pleasure of researching French topics because the older I get, I'm beginning to realize that a lot of these things that were just thrown to the side by science and called woo and just pseudoscience, guess what? Some of them have turned out to be true. All right, so let's dive in. So I want you to imagine a small empty jar right in front of you, just like the jar in this photo, okay? Now some would say it's just empty, but it isn't. Inside you would have oxygen, nitrogen, argon, water vapor, photons, radio waves, a few ions, and maybe a neutrino. Even if we connected a vacuum pump to this jar, there would still be things in it, like electromagnetic waves, photons, and a neutrino or two, maybe. And the only reason we know this is because we've invented receivers and detectors to tell us what is there. And according to the guy I'm about to tell you about, even a small volume of space contains energy, and he says that we can tap that energy and put it to use with a properly constructed receiver. And where this gets interesting is that it really isn't any different than using a solar cell which converts light into electrical power. Or a heat pump which utilizes a small amount of electrical current to transfer a greater amount of thermal energy from one location to another. So basically our task is to determine how to achieve this with that energy in empty space. Easier said than done though. Meet Thomas Henry Morey. Henry was a brilliant engineer and inventor that made quite the discovery as I was saying earlier. And he claimed that he had a device that could power the world by extracting energy from the environment that surrounds us all. Now in 1909, Morey started working on what he called a new energy system. Just two years later, he stated that he had discovered that the energy he was working with was not static in nature, but oscillatory. And where it gets wild is that he said that this energy was coming to the earth from an outside source. And then he went further to say that it was like these electrical oscillations came in surges like the waves of the sea. He said it was continuous with more in the daytime than at night. Years later in 1925, Morey had finally built a working model of this energy generator that was about the size of an AM radio of the day. And it's shocking how simple it was to set up. He used a half inch ground pipe driven into the earth seven feet, which was then connected to the generator and another 87 foot long wire connected to an antenna elevated above the ground. Once everything was connected, he would tune the device to begin extracting energy from this mysterious source. Using the setup, he gave live demos powering light bulbs, irons, fans, you name it, he did it. And from what I've read, it's claimed it could supply 700 watts for up to seven days and could just run indefinitely. And what gets me here is that there are multiple photographs and affidavits documenting that this device did indeed work. And nearly half of his published book consists of these affidavits. And I'm sure you're saying there was a battery, blah, blah, blah. But he allowed multiple people to inspect the device, highly credible people, and they couldn't find any batteries, nothing. There's even one testimony stating that Morey and a group of people drove to an isolated location, like out in the middle of nowhere, and it was kept secret from Morey just so they could test it out to see if he indeed was lying. Well, guess what? They set up the device, tuned it, and sure enough, it worked. He ended up trying to file seven different patent applications, but unfortunately they were all rejected. The reason being that he couldn't describe the energy source and that it didn't fit the physics of the time. And this story gets crazier. I mean, this involves KGB agents, people shooting at him and his family. He even had to put thick bulletproof glass on his cars just to keep him and his family safe. And it's just, it's wild, everything that happened to this guy. So was he onto something? I don't know, but it's fascinating. Who knows?